Tales viewers, we're shifting our focus away from Gujarat to the national capital where Vistara's last flight, uh, a domestic flight in particular, the Mumbai to Delhi flight has taken off from the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport in Mumbai. It's headed for the national capital. Meanwhile, Vistara's last foreign voyage and a Singapore to New Delhi flight has uh, departed Singapore already. The Vistara flight code, of course, viewers, after the merger today itself will change from UK to AI2. Meanwhile, Air India has reassured that there would be no compromise on the travel experience for passengers even after the two Tata-run airlines merge into one my colleague brian anthony thomas is joining us live from the indira gandhi international airports terminal 3 uh, brian what are the scenes like over there what do the passengers feel about uh, the merger there were a lot of heartfelt messages that a lot of passengers were giving uh, on social media yesterday bidding adieu to vistara Well, we are definitely, you know, uh, we are at uh, the very IGI uh, Terminal 3 airport and yes, uh, today morning was the first scheduled flight that was AI2984 that departed from Mumbai to Delhi around 1.30 am uh, and utilizing an A320 aircraft and post merger. Now, yes, Vistara flights will now operate by Air India backwards with the uh, AI2 uh, followed by these series of numbers. Now, let me uh, just, you know, come back and uh, show you these screens. Uh, this is the very screen that I'm going to uh, give you a perspective about to avoid confusions. Uh, you know, first it will be, you know, it, it's clearly there that it, there, there's a merger now uh, to avoid confusion because, because it's still new. They are still putting up the UK 6, uh, 641, but now you see uh, it is also followed by this AI uh, 2411, 2979. So yes, you can actually understand that when we are at the airport, you can actually understand the fact that yes, uh, there is a merger now, it, you know, the screens are also shifting with Air India Star Alliance and Vistara, you know, being shifted and this is the scene. It has started, the first merger has also uh, come into ground and it has uh, come in and people are also, you know, voicing their opinion about the fact about the merger also that has happened and when you see also when you're at the airport also there has been an important update also that has been given uh, by the airlines by Air India by uh, you know even Vistara for the fact that yes uh, they are also not you know compromising on the you know um, on the flight experience they will be how it was and they will try to make uh, the flight as uh, smooth as possible again if I show you also uh, that is a dedicated counter also uh, you know that is uh, made under uh, air india and vistara also so you here you can see us uh, you know a kiosk kind of a small counter like situation uh, you know place has been made where it's even written that it's, it's an important update that vistara and india has joined wings and all check-ins will be pro uh, processed at the air india counters and the fly uh, the familiar in flight vistara experience also will be the same as it was and there will be no change um, you know in flight experience for the passengers who will be uh, flying after this merger that has happened. Pia. Indeed, uh, you've spoken about a couple of changes you've mentioned about the code in particular, but there are several other uh, you know, aspects that uh, customers are worried about. In particular, uh, how do they go about the booking system? Uh, what exactly will happen if they click on Vistara's website link? Uh, you know, some of them have done so and they're redirected uh, to the Air India link in particular. They're concerned about the booking systems uh, as well as the service continuity. A lot of them have uh, purchased uh, special services um, and a lot of them also have a uh, credit card benefits link. So could you tell us a little bit about that well uh, Pierre definitely you know uh, before I, I give you a perspective about the 10 big mergers that has happened I'll again like to give you a, a look of, uh, of the very T3 airport that we are in you know the first big change is definitely the branding and uh, you know the operation that like I, I'll show you the branding and operation so that you get an idea and even uh, you know there's another that is a flight numbering has changed that I earlier showed you uh, there will be also change in the loyalty program interrogation there will be booking system changes also and also so there will be customer service change in changes also that will be happening the flight and crew will also be wearing uh, you see the t-shirts also that they are wearing 
it has uh, written uh, Air India and Vistara. So you can actually understand the T-shirts are also being changed and even there will be a service continuity also that is flight in experience that includes meal options, amenities. Uh, there will be credit card benefits as well uh, that is, um, you know, that is likely to happen under this 10 uh, changes. There will be route network expansion also and that is one of the big reasons that they have, uh, you know, offered to go for a merger right here. And there will be employee transition as well. Now talking about the numbers also, like I showed you, like I, I, I'm again trying to show you PR. See, uh, you Air India and, uh, you know, uh, Vistara has changed. That is, uh, this is the very flight. It was UK641. Uh, and then it has changed and the number has also changed to AI2 followed by 2411. So yes, these are the 10 big mergers, uh, Pia, that has been introduced uh, by both Air India and, uh, you know, uh, Vistara after the merger uh, that has happened. All right, Brian, with that, I would like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast this morning. Of course, showcasing uh, to our scenes live from Terminal 3 at the Indira Gandhi International Airport uh, in